Hello and welcome to the Virtual Planetarium with me, Andromeda. This is a place to send your questions about space, science and the universe and we'll try our best to give you an answer. Today's letter comes from Sharon from Newry. Sharon asks, why is the moon covered in holes? Excellent question, Sharon. Let's see what we can find out. If you go outside on a clear night and look at the moon through a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, this is the type of image you will see. The surface of the moon isn't smooth, but is in fact covered in holes. If you look near to the edge of the shadow on the moon, this is where the holes can be seen the clearest. These holes are known as craters, but how did they get there? Lots of material flies around in outer space. The Moon, Earth and all the other planets are continually being hit by these bits of flying debris, which travel at very high speeds. Most of the material which hits the Earth today is quite small. In fact, it usually burns up in the atmosphere before it even reaches us, creating meteors or shooting stars up in the sky. Billions of years ago, however, the planets were bombarded by enormous chunks of rock called asteroids, which could be almost as big as Mars. When these mighty asteroids hit, they left giant impact craters behind. Over billions of years, many of these craters on Earth have been worn away by the wind and rain or covered up by the sea. But there are some craters on Earth which can still be seen today. This is a picture of Meteor Crater in Arizona, which is over 1,000 metres wide and almost 200 metres deep. Because the Moon does not have weather like we do here on Earth, the craters that were formed there billions of years ago still look exactly the same today as they did then. So you could say looking at the Moon is a bit like looking back in time. As you can see from this picture, the craters found on the Moon are all different shapes and sizes. Some are big, some small, some are round and some not so round. So, let's go to our science correspondent, Ursula Major, to see if we can find out more. Thanks, Anne. I'm here at Armagh Planetarium, an air scientist is just about to conduct an experiment, a really, really complicated experiment to learn more about those mysterious craters. First, the scientist fills a tread with flour two and a half centimetres deep, representing the light coloured material on the moon. Then the flour is covered with a light dusting of cocoa powder, simulating the moon's thin layer of darker volcanic remains. Now the scientist prepares to drop a large asteroid onto the ready-made lunar surface. Wow, look at that impact! Let's see that again in slow motion. Well, after several asteroid hits, these are the craters which have been formed on our lunar surface. Let's compare them to the actual craters on the moon to see what we can learn. The crater appears to be slightly larger than the object which formed it. This gives us a clue as to the size and even the shape of the asteroids which once bombarded the moon. Spokes of lighter material are sometimes ejected during impact. These light coloured lines are called rays and because they reflect light we can quite easily see them from Earth. So the experiment has made a big impact here at Armagh Planetarium. Now over to you Anne in the studio. <laughs> Thanks Ursula. So there you are, a simple experiment to explain how craters were made on the moon billions of years ago. You could try out this experiment at home. Maybe you could think of some more things to test, like the speed or the direction of the incoming asteroid. We'd be really interested to find out how you get on. So why not send us your comments and your crater photos and we'll put them up in our gallery. 
In the meantime, if you have any more questions on space, science or the universe, remember to send them in to us at the Virtual Planetarium and together we'll try and find the answer. This is me, Andromeda, saying goodbye. And remember, do try this at home. Thank <laughs> you.